All right, Janessa, you're being recorded. No, I'm doing too bad. Yeah. How do you like working in the oil field so far? Don't do this. You shouldn't eat while you're being recorded. I'm still eating. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the challenges you face being a woman in the oil field? Stupidity. Stealing <laughs> with stupidity. I'm not stupid. Well, I got to deal with stupidity too. What are the ones that are uh, Sexist specific? Me? Sexist, yeah, specific to being a woman in the oil field. Well, I guess I could have asked uh, Senior about this too. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not as strong. I mean, there's guys like Bob Bruner or myself. <laughs> you can say yourself, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I can't keep up with. Yeah. I can lift. It's endurance, though. But you're stronger than some of the dudes. We won't so. say any names like. No, 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 no. We're not. No, this is going to be broadcast. We're not going to put them out there like that. No names. But. No. Some I can outwork. Some I can't. Okay. So strength. Uh, maybe a few sexist bastards here and there. A few. Yeah, that look connotated a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Huh. All in all, though, you're pretty disappointed that I'm married, right? <laughs> Very. <laughs> Very. <laughs> yeah. Devastated is more like it. <laughs> Devastated, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What you working on there, senior? Sending junior an email. Hey, do you mind describing for the people who might stumble across my blog by accident uh, what we're about to do right now, work-wise? Because I, I don't put a lot of work stuff in there. We just completed the frack process. Um, right now, we're going to go out and rig off one of our lines off the wellhead, panic line, in preparation to hook up a pump line to it. Um, we have wire line coming out to location. They're going to do a couple runs down the well bore with a gauge ring jump fast to get combination at first on the first run. The second run will be a Hornet Packer. They're going to set that to isolate the well bore so that the workover rig can come in on our location once frack is completed and um, pull the frack string out of the well head and reinstall a production uh, tubing string in preparation of preparing the wells for production. So they're going to plug the hole? Yeah, that's the short end. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> they're going to temporarily plug the hole off, then after uh, they're ready. You don't realize, like, I understand all that now. Yeah. But other people, when I, I go off on tangents like that, yeah. and they're like, what? What are they going to do? You know? Yeah, so basically we're isolating the well so nothing can come up up the well while they're changing out, um, pulling that frag string, and then reinstalling a production uh, s string in order for them to get ready to turn it over to the production end of things. All right. And uh, in closing, who's the best hand you've ever had? Oh, well, I don't even have to hesitate. That's Daniel Neal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? that? That's a totally unbiased opinion. Did you hear that? <laughs> sure. I don't care if you're stronger than me. I don't care if you're stronger than me. 